Oh, the memories. Boy, hey, get back here. Dane, get back here. Let's go. It's a whole lot more fallen trees than we were here before. It's almost a clearing up there. Interesting. Dane's making a communist. A little bit of damage up here. I keep having trouble with this this area. No water got in, but um, I'll fix it when I get back. All of my supplies are still in here. Nothing's been disturbed. Traps are still in there. Packs of candles. Candle stand, butcher knife, some rope. Eh, nothing's been messed with. Back there, still intact. Nothing's collapsed. I had one busted beam over there. It's not a big deal. It doesn't look like anything's been in here. There's no cobwebs. So I suppose the uh, mothballs are doing the trick. We've had like continual rain since like July. Like, torrential rain like non-stop and the inside is completely dry it's like it's powder completely dry so I put my supplies back everything's still there what are you doing buddy My main food stash is still there. I should probably take it down. Yeah, let's take it down and see who's in it. See how it's doing. It's been up there for what, two years now? Okay. And that was a pain in the ass to get off. It's a moment of truth, because remember I got canned food in there, I got canned fish. Got all kinds of shit that could have fucking swallowed up and popped. Let's see. Tears in the wild. It's all completely intact. Nothing's busted. I'm not even going to bother to open them up. I'm not pulling the rest of this out. There's all kinds of, there's all kinds of shit in here. And there you have it. Two years in the wilds. And it's completely fine. What's that? Hmm, you're sniffing it. Maybe I should open up and look, huh? They're fine.
So that out there, easy two weeks worth of food for me. This place is good to go. I might come back and do a little bit more work on it. But it's been like this for what, two years? I'm still standing. Had like what, five feet of snow back here last year. Still standing. We'll see. Yeah, that's dumped his bucket out and muck in it. I don't know what it was. It looked like somebody took a shit in it. Anyway, this coal was super, super dry. And it'll take a spark. Easy as hell. Been there for a while. And this is my kit for today. PLCE with these trimmer pouches. And the Helicon satchel. So I used a new Helicon satchel today in conjunction with web gear and I gotta say, amazing. Simply amazing. Twice I actually wondered if I had forgotten it because it was just so light and rode so well on, the, on my back hanging down past my webbing. I literally had to check and see if the strap was there. If I hadn't stopped and pissed and took it off and forgot, it rides that well. I'm super pleased with it. A few people complained about it, but I got no complaints. Thus far, this is about my fourth time using it. This is my first time using it out in the deep wilds. But, anyway. Alright, so I've now initiated planting season 2022. I uh, wanted to come down here and make sure everything was okay. Everything's fine here, food's fine, structure's fine. I don't know how much I'm going to put online because I thoroughly believe that anything we have put online in the survival community is already being digested by various intelligence organizations. You can say it's paranoia, you can say whatever you want to say, but there's definitely something going on. Um, I've always wondered why they let gunners and survivalists stay on YouTube. Well, it's because we're putting all of it out there and we're actually handing them the intelligence that they could otherwise not get. Sadly, it's too late to put the genie back in the bottle in that respect because I've been doing this for 20 years and I've never been shy about putting things online. But the Chinese and Russians, they are vacuuming up mass quantities of information on the net. People's comings and goings. I mean, people put the guns they have on there. Everything they're doing, uh, where they are, what they're... I mean, just, just everything is just barfed out there. I've barfed it out there. Um, I think some bad times are coming. Uh, if you don't believe me, Look at the filtration camps in the Ukraine. They knew what these people's attitudes were towards Russia, towards Putin, before they even got there. And then when they got there, they got people's phones and they got even more information. I've had two letters from the feds and I've had two letters from the state that my information has been sucked up. Not specifically me, but in, in uh, large hacks. The Chinese are even gathering DNA on American citizens. Why do they need DNA on American citizens? What's DNA used for? It's used for identification. Why would people in China, why would the Communist Party in China need to know about American citizens in America? Well, because, in my opinion, they're going to come. I think this country is going to collapse, and I think certain organizations in this country are going to use Chinese peacekeepers to restore order. Um, if you don't believe me, just Google filtration camps and look what the Russians did look at all the information they had before the invasion and once they got there they just went around gathering people up and that's it was as simple as that anyway um I don't know how much I'm going to put out as to planting season 2022 what I'm putting out where I'm putting it uh, uh from here I'm gonna put out some more pods and I haven't decided if I'm gonna put shelters out or if I'm going to just put tarps out with the pods so I can build something on the fly I don't know it's going to be a lot smaller than, than planting season one back in the day. Just stay tuned and we'll see what we can get out of it. Thanks for watching.